Hey YouTube, it's Nemecons and welcome back to Pokemon Shield Grass Type Only Run, Episode 6. In the last episode, we uh battled Hop and we start we did we was doing this route. I'm not gonna lie guys, this was literally the day this was yesterday that I recorded the last episode, and I've honestly somewhat forgot. But I did do a little bit of grinding off screen in the raid dens. Like I said I was going to, I've gotten some candies. In fact, let's use these. Uh, I don't want to use all of them. You know what? I'll put three on Thwacky, two on you, and two on Rose. I'm saving ten. So remember, guys, I said in the last episode, we're catching a new teammate this episode. And other things I managed to get was a couple of TRs. We got Waterfall, Leech Life, Tri-Attack, Crunch, Shadow Ball, Seed Bond, Drill Run, and Dazzling Gleam, which Rose can learn. A Fairy-type moves for a Rose. How beautiful. <laughs> Let's actually teach it to her. Let's get rid of... Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Magical Leaf. I want to keep uh, Mega Drain. I know Magical Leaf is more powerful, but it's fine. We'll get a new power... We'll get a stronger grass move eventually, so I'm not too concerned. And we got a few he uh, money items. Not much. I didn't grind that much. Just enough for now. I haven't done any hunting for Badoo yet, as I said that I'd try and shiny hunt in between playthroughs, but haven't had a chance to because Badoo hasn't been spawnable yet. So, this episode guys, we are just working our way through this cave and the routes afterwards. Got some new Pokemon, we got Diglett, we got uh, Rug and Roller, and the evolved form of uh, Ro of Roly Coly. That's called Carcol, I do believe. He's on the run! Revive. Hello! My work partner and I are in perfect sync, even in battle. Bring it on, worker Keith. Keith. Why have I heard that name? Oh, I remember now. <laughs> okay, Baldor. I actually think this Baldor might have. Uh, I forgot the name of the ability. Oh, my animations are still off. Ah! Yeah, weak armor, that was it. I knew it was weak something. Yeah, if you turn off your animations, you can get through raids so much faster. And luckily, with raids, you don't have to worry about gaining XP, because raids give you XP in the form of those XP candies. Yeah, so you can use uh, your Pokemon as many times as you want in those raids. Okay, let's turn the animations back on. There we go. Nope, that's going to be a, a thing. Just like in my Pokemon Emerald. Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, go over here to lead outside the cave. Because we'll find ourselves over here at TM. TM54! Rub Blast. It's an okay move, but not my type of uh, move. It's a move that hits two to five times. If you get hit all five times, it is strong, but my luck isn't very good with it. My most time, I'll mostly hit two times. Seriously, nine times out of ten, I hit two times. Maybe three if I'm lucky. <laughs> uh, I can't use it because I don't have any rock types. I don't think any grass type Pokemon can really learn it. In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training. Bring it on, female builder. Or worker. I can't. How do I not know how to say that name? Gia Go. I give up. Before I butcher something terrible. Okay. Razor Leaf! Remember, says you're right. I do believe she has three timbers. She does have three Pokemon, so I might be right on that front. And I do believe these timbers either have. Uh, well, their only abilities, normal abilities, is the Iron Fist, which doubles, uh, well, increases the damage of fist moves. Well, punch moves, like Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, stuff like that. Or Guts, so if you don't want them to get a stat buff uh, through status conditions if they have Guts, don't use a status condition. Luckily, I'm just hitting them with leaves. It's very effective. <laughs> Timber down. Timber falling! Timber! There we go. All my Pokemon are now level 17. 
That means I can finally bring out Rose. Uh, let's just finish off this battle first. <coughs> and that's the end of that. <laughs> Sorry. Timber is actually one of my favorite fighting type Pokemon. So I've got nothing against Timber. I love the Timber line. Okay, let's put Rose in the lead, even though it'll probably only be for one battle, because Rose is actually about to level up again. <laughs> okay, here's another TM. TM26, Scary Face. Eh, not the most practical of moves, but I suppose if you're trying to remain the speediest, I guess it could be useful. Okay, we got some more Pokemon here. Hidden item here. Hearthstone, powering up the... P it's like, a. Uh... It's like the mystical seeds, in a way, but works for rock Pokemon. Okay, you're next. Working women are good at Pokemon battles too. Okay, don't know why you had to point out you being a woman. I say that on the fact that I don't care whether you're a man or a woman. I think both genders are both capable of doing the same things, even though some people feel like they're better at, better at certain things than others. It's like their own personal preference and blah blah blah. I consider myself not good at anything. <laughs> aren't, I, aren't I such a, a rain of sunshine, eh? I'm good at nothing. <laughs> Except for being an idiot. There's a positive one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Okay, Rose is already level 18. But I'll keep Rose out for this battle. Drillbur! Uh... Mega Drain. Give me your stamina! I do believe that's the end of this one. Yep. Sandra. That was her name. She wants to scout my Pokemon. You're not trying to take them, are you? <laughs> Okay, Rose has already had her turn. Let's go, Lambre! Got ourselves some Woobats here! A lot of 5th gen Pokemon in this cave, by the way. Rog and Roller, Timber, Woobat. That's a decent amount of 5th gen Pokemon in this cave. There's Carcoal. There's no way I can reach it. It goes faster than you! Okay. we still got some things over here, like this trainer and an item. I was looking around for items, but I found a trainer. Hey, I'm looking for items! How crazy! Russell! Hustle Russell! Rory Cody! Luckily this thing's not a fire type until it evolves. Actually, since I'm using Lombre... Damn, I wish it was a fire type already so my water gun would do be four times super effective instead of only two times. It would have wiped him out. <laughs> okay. Water gun! And that's the end of that. Actually, I don't know if he has any other Pokemon. I wasn't paying attention. Nope, that was his only one. Yeah, works for me. Okay. A pair of heavy duty boots. Prevents traps set on the battlefield. Oh, the effects of traps. So, like spikes and stone, stealth rock, and stuff like that won't work on the Pokemon that is holding that item. Ugh. And two super potions. What's these? Uh, let's see. I might as well just say it now. That guy, we're going to be introduced to him in just a moment. That's B-Day, I do believe you say how you say his name. He's a jerk, if that wasn't obvious from the last episode. And uh, he's a psychic type trainer, so... I'm in a quite an ironic situation when you think about it, because... Rose is weak to Psychic types, but she's also the only one who has a move that's super effective against Psychic types. <laughs> I'll, I'll just stick to Thwacky for now, and if I need to use Rose, I'll use Rose. Coming this way, I'd advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. Whatever. I'm a daredevil. You. 
You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You're aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? Could the champion, uh, could the chairman beat the champion in a Pokemon battle? I don't think so. I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. Pfft, we'll see about that. I suppose to prove beyond a doubt that's how pathetic you are, you and I, you are, and how strong I am. Yeah, he's an, he's just an ass. Trainer B Day. <coughs> Solosis. A decently strong psychic type, but quite frail. Um. Uh, let's just go for Razor Leaf. Physical stab and mystical seed. Ooh, doesn't doesn't finish it. Endeavor. Oh, you. Endeavor sends you down to the same amount of health as the uh, Pokemon that uses it. Okay. This next Pokemon is Gothita. Let's see, Gothita. I'm gonna want to use a Super Potion right now. Your Solosis did nothing to me! Incoming Pound. A Psychic type Pokemon using a physical move. Interesting choice. Razor Leaf! Not beaten. Psybeam. Now that's more than I expected. Please do not confuse me. Oh, thank goodness. Bye! <coughs> That's the end of Gotita! Thwacky level 18. Very nice. Oh dear, what have I been doing? Well, whatever. Let's get this over with. And his final Pokemon? Hatina. Let's see. How about we go to Lombre for this? I do believe this Hatina also knows Psybeam. I think all his Pokemon know Psybeam. Ah, you got confusion. Don't confuse me, bro. There we go. Uh, Astonish! Actually, I've yet to check out Lombre's physical attack stat. Eh, uh, <laughs> flinched. I actually want to quickly check that. 22, 27, oh, they're not that far off, actually. Ah, Astonish again, then. Ah! Flinched again. <laughs> See you at the end of the battle. This is a astonishing. Leave it easy. <laughs> Dead. I don't know why I expected a potion, but luckily that didn't happen. There we go. Lombre level 18. What's the Fury Swipes? Uh, it's one of the two to five moves. Is that any good for me at all? Probably not. No, I like my attack setup already. See? Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying that hard anyway. Yeah, I gave the, the whiner voice. <laughs> like a big baby. Well, I suppose that's unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when we faced each other again in an official match. Now that that's established, we won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. Later, loser. Loser! <laughs> okay. Got ourselves a hidden item here. A bag of stardust. Sweet. More money! Let's get out this cave. And by the way, just like the ent the front entrance, the back exit, or back entrance, depending on which way you want to see it, also has somebody who's who will heal you. They're sisters, apparently. Alright, now we got that done. Before we battle any trainers on this route, I will probably speed up battling all the trainers, but... This is where we're going to capture a new Grass-type Pokemon for our team. There are actually two Grass-types in this route, I do believe. 
but there's one in particular that I'm looking for. That's not a random encounter, that's a Yampa. Yeah, the Pokemon is actually a random encounter. It's the rarest one on this route. If you guys know this area, you probably know who I'm hunting for, so I'll see you when I finally find it. One hour later. A rage. Hey, finally! Oh my god. I am not gonna lie, that practically took an hour. Ugh, Ferrisseed. 1% encounter rate. Oh my god, that took forever. Can I just chuck a nest ball at it and be done? Oh, thank god. By the way, I've already got the thing set up, ready to go. Bit, bit, bit. Ugh. That actually took about an hour to find that. Super annoying. All well, my enthusiasm I had at the very beginning of this pl uh, recording session is dead. <laughs> okay, I need to cut this. Believe it or not, I've had to split this down into three different videos. The first video, getting up to where we were, and then 30 minutes into that, of hunting, then stopped, and now we're up to 34 minutes in another recording, I'm going to stop this to start another recording in order to finish off this episode. I just don't want the files ending up way too big. This would have been almost... <laughs> oh my god, this is a nightmare. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's quickly check out Ferris Seed now. But yeah, wow, another female. Stop banging on my desk. Okay, Ferris Seed. It is a decreased speed and race special defense. Again, that's actually a pretty good nature. Alright then, sassy and alert to sound. Alert to sound, really, with a space decrease in nature? Okay then. Alright, now for the rest of this route, I'm actually going to do speed up music, because seriously guys, this episode's been going on for a long time recording-wise, and... Um, I need to decrease it, so I'm going to grab all the items and battle all the trainers in speed up music. So, I'll see you at the end of this. With Ferris Seed in the lead to take on the first battle, since it needs XP, even though I could use the candies, but maybe later. Hello! I do special training while camping to train my Pokemon. The fitness and touches will be a battle with you. And the music cues in.
And that's that, Pokey Kid Sunny is beaten. Oh, it's over already? Yes it is, little Eevee girl. I call her Eevee girl, because well, she's dressed like an Eevee. But well, yep, that's all the trainers, so I figured I'd bring my audio back in here. Gonna grab the items that remain up here. Silver powder, that powers up bug moves. That could be alright. Uh, give me that, get away from me, Meowth. And that's that. Okay then. What? Wooloo, where do you think you're going? Eh? Wooloo crashed into you and stopped. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Hmm, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Indeed. Ah, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. Where? Yeah. My name is Milo. I am the gym leader of the Rava Partal and Rava Par Partial to the Grass type Pokemon. Me too. I've been itching to see how good the champion uh, champion Dos gym challengers are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just head on through this route and you'll run into my stadium. See you there. Come on now, back to the stadium with you too. We can't keep the gym challengers waiting. And with that, we shall now head to the Pokemon Center. Which is right there. But we got Harp. Look, just take a look at that, Hope. That's tr uh, Turf Field Stadium down there. <coughs> the gym leader just returned too. Milo is his name. But the place is jam-packed with challenges. It'll be ages before our turn comes up. Oh, but Sonya was looking for you, Hope. She wanted to ask you something about she tried asking me, but I had no idea. She's up on her, uh, what's her face hill. You know the one. What? What? You don't know the hill? Well, you'll just have to look up at your map if you're not sure. Bow! It's Yamper! Oh, if it isn't Sonya's Yamper. He's a good boy. He'll show you the way. Guess we gotta go that way. Now nah, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> And with healing done, we're all good. That seems looking alright. We got a grass steel type in ferro seed. Grass, a water grass type in lombre. Grass poison in roselia. And pure grass in Fwacky. Not bad so far. We're not going to get a new teammate till after three badges, I do believe. Potentially four. So this is our team for a little while. So, that'll do for this episode, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on the first gym of this game. I wanted to do that today, but that took forever. No joke, guys. It's been like an hour and a half, maybe almost two hours for one video because it took forever to find Ferrisseed. Ugh. And, like, that, it's time to get active. The kids are coming home. I have to stop recording. So, hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, maybe I'll get some shiny Badoo hunted in between this episode and the next. We'll see!